there's new Bulldogs in the state of Georgia from Military College. But the rambling wreck is here to make them holler. Georgia Military College Bulldogs versus the Georgia Tech rambling wreck on SEC football. All right, welcome back to the ATL. We're back in Atlanta here. Uh, the Military uh, College of Georgia. The Bulldogs is getting ready to uh, take on the uh, Yellow Jackets from from uh, Georgia Tech. And this is their second trip to Atlanta. <laughs> and we're looking at uh, the top three players for the uh, the wreck. The rambling wreck, as they call themselves. And looking at the top three players of the Bulldogs. He said, thanks for joining us here. It's Thursday night. <laughs> Weekend's coming up. And uh, we're glad that you was able to uh, join us here. So now we will start it off with the kickoff. And we are getting this game underway. As uh, Georgia Tech is coming out, that quarterback room uh, scrambling, dropping back and trying to throw. Oh, <laughs> couldn't put a hit on him on that one. And he breaks out of that one. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> and uh, the Bulldogs better tighten up on defense, right? Because Georgia coming out throwing and throwing. Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot. My fault. Oh man, I forgot. Uh, Georgia done changed. Uh, Georgia Tech changed their offense. <laughs> then they're not running that that uh wishbone style offense anymore. Woo! <laughs> That's why I was like, wait a minute, something don't look right. <laughs> he coming out throwing like that, and we got a touchdown by Marshall, the quarterback, and he's getting things started. And Georgia coming out and. Uh, Little toss out here to Gore. Oh, what a hit. Oh. And uh, after we punt it, hey, Georgia Tech got it back. Oh, we got an interception right here. Nicely done. Well, he, he, he had the stretch up for that one. Great play right there. Now, Gore try to run the ball, but they just won't seem to let Gore run right now. Like, he just cannot run. But he's getting to run right here. That's a quarterback right there. Don't want him running the ball all night. That's what we got running backs for. Oh, nice little catch right there. Uh, Y'all may not know it. To his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds. Oh, and the sack. Oh, and the quarterback is down, people. Bradley is down. Actually, uh, I'm calling myself trying to do some research right here. Need to be more better prepared. There we go. Valiant. Montel Valiant. He was the one that snatched that interception. We had to give him some credit for that. Oh. Oh, wow. What a catch. Did you see that catch by Palm? And Valiant was able to take it in for the score. But as you can see, it ain't even close. It's <laughs> 28 to 7. It's like I just blinked and all of a sudden. We hit so it's 28-7. And the quarterback dropped back and throws up. Whew, big bomb. That'll end the first half. And uh, for the Bulldogs, I'm pretty sure they like, yeah. <laughs> Whew, 28. All right, uh, tomorrow night, Friday night, is a... Uh, a game between two Kentucky State rivals. Well, will be rivals. As Kentucky Christian will be taking on Louisville. 
So we'll be up for that game. Now getting back to the this game. Uh seeing that the Bulldogs are still struggling on offense. Georgia Tech. Oh, got him in the backfield. That's a rarity. Let's see, who is that made that sack? Who made that sack? Let's look this up. That was... There we go. That was Moss. Moss with the sack. <laughs> the one thing about this team, though, they got, they're got they pretty strong at the linebacker position. I mean, you got, you got Moss here at 72. You got Valiant is pretty good. You got 81 speed. Uh... Then you got this uh, Jason Leslie. He got 80 speed. And then you got Keeper. And you got Oz. They, they, they pretty good. They pretty good. The linebacker core. Oh. And that was Irvin right there. Caught in the bag for you. Nice little toss right there. Oh. And an interception. Mm -mm. chance of being caught by one of his teammates. And took a knee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Marshall with another throw. So he's just having a steady game. This third quarter, though, they had, uh, well, <laughs> broke loose that time <laughs> on, a, on a big run. Oh, but got him in the backfield. Boom. Let's see, which one of them linebackers is that? Who's 55? That would be. Who was that? Oh man, we got to go deep on the roster for this. That was a defensive line. Well, they're kicking the field goal right now, as you taking all day trying to figure out. Ah, here we go, Car. <laughs> defense in. That was a nice uh, little hit in the backfield. So the defense played a lot better in the third quarter. Didn't give up but a field goal compared to giving up uh, 28 points in the first half. Offense did not make it to the game. <laughs> Except for one drive. They, they finally made it. They scored a touchdown. Then they went home. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know what to say. Oh, and hitting the backfield. Oh, Bradley. Another drop back. Another long toss. And another incomplete. And we're finally getting down to the last little bit in this game. Is Georgia Tech going to actually kick a field goal or are they just going to let the clock run? They let the clock run. He said, where to go by them? Show a little class right there. And Marshall, play of the game. Whew. Glad that one's over. <laughs> it was getting kind of, it was getting kind of bad. The dude ran, he threw for over 190, 90, 90. No, that was rushing. Oh my goodness. Quarterback wasn't playing, was he? Mm -mm -mm. I was, that's a tough one right there. Anyway, hey, that's the game. We're going to catch you uh, for the Friday game. K Kentucky Christian, we taking on, um, we taking on Louisville. Till then, you have a good one.